What Reddit culture is so annoying or straight up fucked up? My friend told me I should post this thing I made here. My girlfriend said I should post this picture. So Reddit, meet my good boy. You don't need to pretend that you are a reluctant poster who is only sharing because you were urged to do so by a loved one. No one thinks you are modest or above it all, or even that you have loved ones that really want you to use Reddit. Hi, R. Gone wild. I'm really shy. Here's a photo of my asterisk 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 asterisk. My uncle told me I should post this picture of my balloon knit here. I hope you all in new like it since it will never make it to the front page in a million years. Hope I fit in here. Do you think I should I post here more? Edit. Wow are interesting as fuck this blew up I'll definitely post more pictures of my anal fissures for you. All. The revenge karma come up in style subreddits and their transparently made up stories. I do believe at some point most of the stuff there was true, but at this point I instantly disbelieve anything posted there. The thing that really makes me wonder and worry about these kind of posts is the like insane escalation of some of them. Like, person A said or did something that was at best a moderate inconvenience, so I, without warning pulled a gun on them or beat the ever-loving beep out of them. Not only do they expect this to be okay, they actually get defensive or upset that their massive fake overreaction is called out for what it is. Like, do people really think humanity is impressed by your violent revenge feeb fantasies? It was probably written by an actual child though. Keep in mind demographics. Those self-proclaimed experts in relationships, finance, law, and programming might only be 15 years old. I have t-shirts older than that. I feel like lately every big post has, I'm a psychologist, I'm a manager for a large hedge fund, etc. in almost every post. Who knows, maybe since it's a popular post there's a chance there are people who are experts in those fields, commenting. But just makes you wonder. Issue is that you'll never know unless you also happen to be in the field. When the subject of COVID testing became popular around sometime in March to May, I was appalled by the general lack of understanding some experts on Reddit displayed about diagnostics testing. It seemed that their only credentials were a vague knowledge of the science and intense political conviction, confusing fiction with reality. Half the stories on R, T I F U or N R, am I the asshole read like fiction and should be taken as such. Definitely getting tired of all of the stupid beep stories on our Tifu. But the only ones that get up votes are beep Tifus. Recently saw a pretty good, believable, non-beep Tifu. It had a lot of awards, but only like 60 upvotes while beep thing above it had 23k upvotes. Yep, it's really unfortunate that it's just become basically that. I'm about to unsubscribe but I keep holding out for the regular stories. I wish they have a no beep related beep asterisk up day. I know that it's not a phenomenon exclusive to Reddit but Reddit can be awful for it. Viral lynch mob culture. Somebody will post rage vape no context and everybody will absolutely dogpile the wrongdoer. I'm not talking about mean words on the internet, I'm talking of doxing, death threats, losing your your job, family, literally tearing their life apart for what could have been a one-time moment of madness or a mean tweet. The problem is that, even if they're completely unrelated to the situation at hand, everybody needs to feel like they've received their own personal slice of justice. Times that by thousands of people and your life is essentially ashes. In many cases the mob victim will have done something truly beat but the punishment is usually, always shockingly disproportionate to the wrongdoing. Are you talking about the Five Guys location that noticed an oil leak, then called the proper authorities when they discovered it, and then took care of the issue properly, and did absolutely nothing wrong, but it's now time to bankrupt the couple that franchised that location because of the possibility that they actually did do something wrong according to username dipshit who does NT fact check. Good comment, man. I be paid the mob. That's the one. And then when it comes out that it was all a totally innocent accident, these idiots just I've never once seen somebody own up and apologize in regards to being wrong in these scenarios. The subreddit system is pretty nice and creates a place for niche hobbies and topics to thrive but it also creates hive minds and echo chambers. Reddit needs a better method of subreddit discovery though. I've been on Reddit for 5 years and will come across a subreddit that would have been cool to know about years ago and would probably have been obvious if they had a subreddit discovery algorithm for, recommend for recommendations. 
If someone makes a thread asking for an example of media people hate, people get downvoted for answering honestly if the thing they hate is popular. Hating things that everyone regularly talks about hating gets up votes. I hate Geely. Plus 1k yes you beep do. We all do. These threads are a self-defeating abomination. Conversation doesn't happen. Ever notice that all the actual unpopular opinions on our unpopular opinion are in the controversial section? Or just join our the 10th dentist for some actual unpopular opinions. I don't want that subreddit to get a lot of traction cause we all know what happens to subreddits that get a lot of subs. See? This is so true it hurts. Almost every subreddit I know turns to beep once it gets popular. Then it becomes recycled content and karma farming. People who ask for opinions and advice, when what they really want is for their own point of view to be agreed with. That's just our IATA in a nutshell. Every post on our IATA follows this formula of a title that makes them sound like and beat and then a post that redeems them in every way possible. Reddit IATA for kicking my disabled neighbor in the nuts. Okay, I know it sounds bad but hear me out. He was coming at me with a knife shouting racial slurs and I panicked because I have a history of PTSD from military time and also he's not actually disabled. I ate for beating my kid. She was being snotty when winning Monopoly so I won against her. NTA, your house, your rules. The fact that people say people deserve minor offenses. There was this one post on our idiots in cars where someone had a seizure while driving and people said, he deserved to die because he should have eaten more breakfast as he knew knew he could have seizures from not eating enough. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes like they've never made a questionable decision in their lives. People on here often have like no mercy at all, it's almost comically hilarious sometimes. Like you said, we all do stupid beeps sometimes. We don't deserve to die for it. People who comment on news stories before actually reading them. I hate that asterisk 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 saying before they read them incorrectly assumes they will ever read them at all. Our attention spans are so short now, we are always expecting someone to put a TLDR in the comments. Why waste time say lot word when few word do trick? Today, somebody asked a question, I answered it. The answer was 3 some guy disputes it telling me it is 4. I explain it more clearly and ask him where he saw it was 4. He then edits his first comment, changing it to agree with me and then acts all confused as to why I was correcting him when they, already, agreed, with me. I've noticed people writing, edit, a word, when in reality they've completely changed the premise of their argument. Might be cool if there were an option to see a comment's history. Why do people do that anyway? Whenever I make a simple spelling or grammar mistake I just go and correct it. People giving advice that have no relevant life experience. Look at most of the posts in our relationships. Tips. Every post on this subreddit that asks for a specific demographic profession will be 80% not ex but or friends with an ex or visited an ex once. Redditors thinking they're detectives with no prior experience except for armchair detective experience. Like the Boston bomber. Even invented the we did it reddit meme. Long story short reddit thought it was some college student and gave their FBI tips. Turns out all reddit did was take three FBI's time in tracking down the real suspects. The college kid had nothing to do with anything. The college kid killed himself days ago. Reddit got a cop killed, a guy kidnapped, and caused a shootout in the suburbs. We did it reddit bullying, brigading, hive mind is incessant here. There's a huge lust for revenge, and the most incredibly entitled responses I've ever seen is, R, I mean the asshole the advice in there, are so toxic and one-sided and always never leave room for any sort of reconciliation. If those people with the highest participation points in that sub were pollutions, absolutely nothing would get done and we'd have a couple wars already. It's like they want to stay angry and vengeful over petty differences forever. 100% one of the reasons I love our copypasta so much is the running gag making fun of how ridiculous our IATAs. You would love our am I the angel then? Redditors seem to think they're better than everyone when in reality they're just as stupid. Perhaps even a tad more stupid. The anonymity really seems to encourage the fools to crawl out of the woodwork with their moron. Flag flying. Karma whoring, dude. It's pathetic. Garo Booby says hello. 
He who must not be named has been mentioned. Lol, I don't think I could have beat up his name any farther without it being unrecognizable. Just the thought of him makes me verp a little bit. Hasn't he legitimately made a career out of karma whoring and reposts? The need to have an emotional hook for each post. Build this for my girlfriend who lost her job five years ago. Or, I bought this for my blind brother with one leg after mowing lawns. So many posts are so contrived, scripted, or plain made up to maximize karma. For nice pics without stupid stories visit our no context pics. For the same pics with hilarious captions check out our different underscore sob underscore story. Everyone sounds the same. True I even have a special redditor voice in my head when I read the comments. They all look like they've been written by the same person with 93,828,288,282 accounts. Holy beep I thought I was alone here I think it's because the website is really boring to look at, there are no visible profile pictures and people always talk a certain way edit of the comment. I didn't know you could see profile pictures on mobile now, I don't know what to think of it. Literally reading your comment in my redditor voice. People that think they're psychologists, god beep they need to chill, the kid just didn't help you get up after you fell, he's not a sociopath. They watch a couple of TV shows and anime and they think they can fight crime and end world hunger. It's true though, I watch-